Hello, y'all. Today is um, Saturday, December 18, 2021 at 12.45 p.m. Excuse me, exact. So now it's 12.46. So they're trying to... I hate this... I hate this internet service, the Wi-Fi here at this motel. Now my computer, my laptop is saying no internet. But, um, so I don't know if I should wait till later on tonight, but I woke up to more online harassment. And this is not me just being a, a petty little tattletale. You know, I'm documenting harassment. You know, I heard that cyber stalking and cyber harassment is considered a felony also. So, this person made up, well, you, you know, it's like they're attacking my laptop. So, so it's like, This person can't even really spell, you know, so, um, a lot of, it's like when targets sell out and become perps, nobody wants to believe that they turn and they still, when they, once they become a, you know, get a certain amount of popularity in the TI community and then become perps then basically they're invincible and can't even get shut down. So I haven't even mentioned in detail much, you know, talked about the online perps that much. So they're not getting enough money or enough action from me. So they're desperate enough to create a brand new channel I have not even much gone on my twin sisters channel but you know you know and I haven't even been googling or YouTube searching myself but you know every time one of the online perps I mean whenever I can um get internet access on my laptop <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all um, the screenshots of the harassment. So, um, I mean, y'all up at 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm on y'all minds. <clears throat> so, I said on Twitter, these narcissistic online gang stalkers weren't getting enough action being ignored, so they create a new fake YouTube channel just to send more abusive, harassing comments. I'm already emotionally fragile right now. They need to mind their own fucking business. And I'm going to physically show y'all this <clears throat> um, later on. So here's a perp who has this right here. Uniquely, and you spell M-A-I-D and not M-A-D-E. I mean, Monique Mose is, you know, the uniquely made warrior. She turned into a perp and, you know, she flipped and turned into a perp. And so now this person, whoever, it's not Monique who did this, put up this channel, but I'm trying to figure out who was this, who put up this channel right here. Uniquely made veggie lesbian Kimberly Kevin Jane. So the way this person talks, um, I bet you it was probably J. Demon Rotten shit. <clears throat> Just immature. And it's like y'all defend and agree with the same perps who are um <clears throat> You, you know, y'all think that just because the regular perps who are not targeted make up a fa a channel and say candy is a fake T.I., then y'all go right along with it. <clears throat> so, um, I, I'm just saying that's where they say uniquely made 
Um, cause her and that my God is in control, Lady Samantha, they both, um, well, Miss Samantha, I doubt she was ever really targeted in the first place, you know, but now she, she had, you know, hide behind the Bible and then start to act like a perp. And so, you know, you don't. Know, you're not supposed to, you know, if you're a Christian, laugh at another Christian's suffering. That's why I figured that's per a perp-like thing to do. So, um, it's like their videos, it's like they want to suppress me on purpose so much. They know I'm telling the truth. So they want to suppress me on purpose so much that when you YouTube search Candy Grand Prix, YouTube search my name, all the videos of the regular online perps slander come up about me. And then my videos are at the bottom of the barrel. And so I remember when G-Rock the Israelite, I didn't even get to watch those videos, but he got entangled with jet i don't even you don't even deserve to be called any angel or raw honey or nothing j demon rotten shit <clears throat> you know he believe he he <clears throat> he's supposedly a homeless ti too and so he believed her lies about me and then he started to subscribe to her she's not targeted at all that's the one who she was the one who um started following and stalking and harassing me because of me defending Jaguar Wright, who was um the one who exposed the Hollywood industry. So I really think this was J Demon Rotten shit, but if not her, then I don't know who this was. You know, she was making death threats at me. And, you know, unauthorizedly and without my permission making threats to um call up every business and falsely report me for you know exposing my gang stalking so i'm trying to figure out who this is if this ain't j demon rotten shit then it might be the um mk ferrer perp ferrer in spanish okay uh, so, um, this is it right here. I was trying to see if I can blow it up. I don't know if y'all can see this, though. If not, whenever I get on, um, Twitter, this... I mean, whenever I get on Twitter, let me see something. Wait a minute. Dang, I'm coming, y'all. It's like they're super frustrated and angry. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm trying very hard to um make it to where y'all can see this. So let me read it out to y'all. Woman, you did all this to yourself. Yeah. No, you gang stalkers did this to me. The gangs, the whole gang stalking network. Because that's the video I did, my homeless history timeline. And it's like, y'all don't even know my history. So y'all don't even know me. You don't know me or my twin sister. You don't know our history. 
<clears throat> and so, um, woman, you did all this to yourself, just like before you squandered this chance as well. Yeah. Trying to pretend and use advanced vocabulary saying you squandered this chance as well. Yeah. For being vocal about the gang stalking and the community harassment and the workplace mobbing. Yeah, so they make it like as if I burn my bridges or blow my chances. Uh, they're like, oh, we give you a chance to, we give you another chance to work, and so uh, and you still you still ain't quiet, you still ain't keep your mouth shut. Yeah, that's how they think. Oh, we let you have a job, and you st and you still um you still running your mouth telling on us. You st so they think that if they get allow me to have a place to live, or allow me to have a job, then that's supposed to be their bribe for me to shut up about them gang stalking me or else I deserve to be punished with being right back on the streets. So then the person said, I don't know who this is though. I'm, I'm just trying to guess, but I bet you it's J Demon rotten shit. If not her, then I don't know. If, if, if It might be the human trafficker DJ. I don't know who this is. So, you don't deserve a permanent... Who are you to say that? You're not God. You did not create me. You did not procreate me. You're not my parent. You're a complete stranger on the internet. So y'all the sick asses. You, you, you don't... And, and then they put in all caps, you don't. You don't deserve a permanent place to live because you'll complain about, oh, ho, ho, ho. The gang stalkers are going to are gonna be there if you complain and quit your job you are not even worthy of a job see they're deliberately on purpose trying to tear me down hoping that i will have a mental health crisis and go kill myself they're trying to they're trying to get me to go commit suicide so it's like Today is an, I believe it's a satanic ritual high day because it's, you, hold on. This was like the 18th. It's December 18th, 2021. And all the dates are, I mean, all the, like the numbers are divisible by three. 12, 18, 21 are all divisible by three. So, if you complain and quit your job, you are not even worthy of a job. You, be, Because of your short fuse, I wouldn't trust you as a security guard. Wearing red will make you eject, eject someone from a building. Stop, and, and then they put in all caps, stop saying you are being human. Stop saying that you are being human trafficked. And, and then all caps and a whole bunch of exclamation parts points. I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing and you're not going to shut me down or stop me. That stop talking about stop saying that you are being human traffic. That's unacceptable. So you can appreciate a job and a roof over your head, your head. You need to learn oh I was trying to say since you can't appreciate a job and a roof over your head, you need to live on the streets. <clears throat> you see this person can't even write proper grammar. And trying to condemn me. But unless people like you never learn. Yeah, I think this is either J Demon Rotten shit or um DJ. Pe people like you would never learn. See, when you talk to an adult like a child, that's a form of abuse. Or if you treat a child like an adult, that's a form of abuse. If you treat somebody out of their age range, that's a form of abuse. So, you know, mind your business and stay off my YouTube channel. That's what, I mean, that's what I said. Like, if you have a problem with what I'm posting, go elsewhere. They got trillions of videos you can watch. Zillions of videos. I don't know how many doggone videos that you can, zillions of videos you can watch. I'm trying to say, but alas, people like you never learn. The Christian gimmick needs to stop. Religion Religion itself is contradictory enough because you sold your soul to the devil.
you know, and, 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 and this is your attempt to try to bully me into silence and submission and try to force me to sell out. Whoever this person is, I'm not sure if, if this is DJ or J Demon Rotten shit. DJ, this might be DJ because DJ, who keeps hiding, who he think he can talk talk all kinds of tough shit on the internet to a female, but then you can't even re reveal who you are. You can't if you're that tough and bold. Tell me, show me a picture of your face or a video of yourself. Show me a picture of a vi or a video. And show me a picture or a, or a video of yourself and tell me what your 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 real name is. Because you're a coward trying to be a damn bully. And you're supposed to be a man fucking with a female. Trying to say the Christian gimmick needs to stop. Religion itself is contradictory enough. If everything bad is happening, I really think this is J. J. Demon Rotten shit, though. I really think this is her. But it could be DJ because the last time DJ tried to contact me oh, through the phone was, come on, bitch, these gnats. So, um, DJ had been, um, the last time he tried to contact me over the phone was, um, June 18th. It was June 18th of this year. And he left me alone for a good six months. So I'm saying that I honestly don't know exactly who this is, who created. I mean, they're just so immature. And then try to say, if everything bad is happening to you, you are responsible for it. Be accountable like a woman. No, how about if this is J. Demon Rotten shit, how about you be accountable for your for your criminal threats and your criminal death threats and your harassment like what you do what you're doing is against the law i mean finding out where somebody shops and works and live works at and lives and everything you know I'm trying to say you always boast about it i mean oh, oh trying to say oh, if everything bad is happening to you you are responsible for it be accountable like a woman are you not 38 years old? You always boast about it. Stand up as such, dude. And cool it on a directed energy bit. It's getting old. Y'all y'all know y'all know this shit is real. Y'all know this shit is real. And y'all are not good at trying to gaslight people like you think you are. You're y'all narcissistic enough to be wise in your own conceits. Y'all are some freaking psychopaths that try to talk like use witchcraft to talk like talk in a way that make manipulate people into believing that y'all got a lot of common sense and i didn't even realize that fake ass um killed around did a fake video talking about candy grand prix and her uber uber driver she here she's still trying to discredit me and y'all don't y'all don't even question her y'all supposed to be truly targeted but then here she's doing a video trying to justify why ti's don't always show proof you ain't always you don't always show proof because you're not targeted but yeah the ones the fake ti perps who sit around a desk and discredit real targets all day they the ones who get more credibility in the so-called ti community y'all the ones who get get more credit in the so-called ti community than the ones who, who really suffering? Bitch, I got your ass. Yeah, I'm sitting here battling these gnats. Oh, these things are so gross. But, um, yeah, I knew another targeted individual was going to say that that the um, gang stalkers probably infested my place with gnats on purpose to try to run me out to try to drive me to not want to be here no more so um i believe it's highly possible and then i'm also going to show y'all my twin sister didn't even spell chameleon properly but this was come up on a search of when i youtube search um, yeah search myself I didn't even have to go, go on her page. 
for everything narcissistic projection. Candy Grand Prix is a chameleon in the, t in the TI community. Demonic as fuck. No, it's actually you because you're not even targeted. I mean, my own twin sister, Dykster, trying to discredit and, um, you know, trying to discredit all of my targeting and then teaming up with online strangers. Online strangers to um try to discredit me. People who she pretty much will probably never meet in person. And you care more about these strangers than the person you, who you share the same damn womb with. But I'm the one who's, who's backward. All kinds of backwards and crazy. My twin sister had me falsely discredited in the um, narcissistic abuse community and made everybody take note to avoid and stay away from me on Quora. And ran, that ran me off Quora. So, um, and Quora was, it didn't make much, but it was another money making opportunity. But they, the online perps found out about it and then they start to harass me to the point I was forced to shut my um shut my account down y'all don't realize y'all gonna go y'all going to hell and y'all think that shit is funny and I bet you y'all brainwashed ass has probably got the The doggone mark of the beast. Y'all fade is sealed, but y'all think y'all can outsmart me. Y'all think y'all more intelligent than me. Damn, move. Yeah, y'all the same ones who will mock and laugh at so-called conspiracy theorists or make like you don't believe any conspiracy theories. Damn. So, oh, hell no. So, um, somebody sent me a video this morning to, um, help, I, I mean, to help me, um, see about trying to get rid of the gnats. I mean, I spent all day long yesterday and all day so far today battling against and trying to kill gnats with the um rubbing alcohol well because of 70 percent i gotta spray at least seven or eight times for the gnat to die but if it was 91 percent all i would need to spray is once and then it would be die instantly but the problem is with the 91 percent alcohol it would discolor things like this color this right here you see this is discolored so um and sometimes the 70 percent might discolor something but it's mainly the 91 percent and the 91 percent alcohol would damage my hair also so yesterday when i went shopping <clears throat> i bought me some i guess it was concentrated bleach was all they had and it was some thick bleach that I, um, I poured the bleach down the, um, I poured the bleach down the, down the drain of both the shower and the, um, and the, the sink. So, I'm loving the warm temperature, the warm temperature in the, um, you know, the still almost summer weather and, and it's, wait, in a couple of days, it's about to be winter. <clears throat> so I've been loving this warm weather and this warm temperature, <clears throat> but I really hate the pests that come along with it. <clears throat> so 
like earlier this morning, I mean, last night I went to bed, there was probably one gnat left flying around. I killed all of them. Went to sleep, woke up this morning. When I woke up, it was probably about a, almost 100 gnats in the windowsill, by, at, in the bathroom. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, but I, I mean, when I told the manager, he, he said that, oh, everybody's getting them because of the humidity. Well, I feel like, wow, something's got to be done. <clears throat> but I had to stop myself from thinking earlier, you, you know, <clears throat> I got mad and I said, damn, I don't want to, I, I mean, I said, I, I, I was like, damn, I can't wait to get out of here. I don't want to um, stay in this room no more and stuff like that. And I had to catch myself because it's like, I know I, I felt like I do not want to end up back on the streets, but I just felt like, damn, the, these gnats are, um, I felt like I was, you know, being tortured in hell, you know, with, with these gnats, being harassed, you know, by these gnats. But I heard that, I heard, I heard from other targets too, that gang stalkers would do stuff like implant pests and rodents in your house while you're gone. Maybe somebody must have, um, <clears throat> maybe somebody must have, um, while I was gone, probably used some kind of way to implant gnats in my, in my, um, in, into my room on purpose to, you know, drive me to be miserable. And, and so I can't, so that I can't enjoy being in here. I mean, I've heard about rats and rope, rats and, uh, I've had it happen to me and I didn't realize it was part of the gang stalking. Um, whether it be rat infestations, um, rats, roaches, bed bugs, um, fleas, flies you know, and gnats and stuff. I mean, I've had a lot of this happen to me, just like a random infestation out of nowhere, you know, but somebody showed me a solution, a video, a YouTube video of a solution. I plan to watch the video, you know, before the day is out and I hope the solution will work, <clears throat> but I was able to get help to get to stay here for one more week. I was able to get help to stay, get to stay here for one more week. So I thought I was supposed to start a new job yesterday or today, but I wanted to say that as far as jobs go, y'all know what my disability, I'm limited. I can't work just any job that anybody suggests. And then they'll try to make it like, as if you're lazy and don't want to work. But at the same time, y'all are saying people will say nobody's going to want to hire you. So I heard it's part of the New World Order Illuminati agenda. I heard it's part of the Illuminati New World Order agenda to, um, damn. I'm sorry, y'all. I heard it's part of the New World Order agenda to, um, to have loud blasting music which you know they blast loud music in grocery stores fast food restaurants and everywhere to manipulate you into buying more than you want or need i mean to manipulate customers into buying more and consuming more so that the businesses and the corporations can make more money and stuff like that, or make more profit. So, me, whenever I go to the grocery store, I use this to try to black out, and they play it loud. Like yesterday, I went to Firehouse Subs and used the gift card, and and so they had they were advertising that they're hiring, and the lady was really nice and said that they needed some um day workers. 
but no way can I work there because the music is so loud. I mean, I can't work at Publix. I can't work at any of these places because they play loud. I have hypersensitive hyper ears to noise. <clears throat> so loud music psychologically and mentally temporarily paralyzes me. You know, it paralyzes me psychologically and mentally and then it, causes, it hurts my ears. And so um, I need a way to get to block out loud noise, you know, <clears throat> so most jobs won't accommodate that either, so it seems like you got to be forced to tolerate this ungodly satanic music that you don't want to hear or that you don't want to work around and then deal with rude customers and stuff like that. You know, so, um, yeah, so that's one, that's something that's a big hurdle for me. <clears throat> so, um, that lady didn't want to accommodate me and, and then people try to say that, oh, well, People are going to need to talk to you. So therefore, no, you can't have your earbuds in or, or the people are going to need the coworkers or the, or the, um, you know, the, um, manager's going to need to talk to you to get and give you an instruction or whatever. So that's why you can't have your earbuds. That's what the, the, what the job that was supposed to be in Sandestin. The job in Sandestin where I was supposed to get paid $12 an hour plus have free food and free housing and everything. That opportunity was blown because I can't be around noise. And then the lady, the foreign lady, she, um, she, she had blocked me from ever contact, blocked my number from contacting her again. So she made sure to seal that opportunity. You know, and she also acted like she didn't want me to drive or have a car, you know. So, um, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm really scared because, um, the back of my ear was itching. I'm really scared. So it's like, I'm wondering if the gang stalkers use the gnats on purpose to um drive me to lose my mind and go crazy and end up back on the streets again. If that was their method or their strategy to try to get me to end up back on the streets again. Because this is what, they keep threatening me with being, think, you know, think I deserve to be punished with being back on the streets again. And they don't have the authority or the right to do that to me at all. And I have a right to speak up and speak the truth, you know, and not be fearful or scared. But they spend all day obsessed with hating me. I have obsessed haters. And then I don't have really any targeted individuals to support support me because the perps feel like they win and got the upper hand. The fact that other TIs avoid me like the plague. So as I said, um, when you YouTube search my name, the slander the slander videos. They're all up at the top, and then my videos are suppressed. My videos are suppressed. You know, of course, with the thumbs down, and basically, my video, any of my videos are not the first videos to pop up when you Google search my name. But if you were to Google search their names, all their videos pop up first.
<clears throat> so I mean I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain today or if it was supposed to have bad weather or rain today I wasn't sure what was supposed to happen today um so right now it looks like it's gonna rain i don't know if it rained earlier this morning but um i'll say this i got very little sleep last night i got very i didn't get that much sleep last night for some odd reason so it seems like as if they let me have a job and they were generous enough to let me sleep. And then they figured that because I'm being vocal about and vocal and non-compliant with the so-called program, and which I never will be compliant with the satanic program, and then they feel like, oh, you blew it again, or you blew your chances. These people are narcissistic at the core. And then project and reverse it onto you and I and try to convince falsely can like my twin sister try to pretend to fake warn everybody and make everybody in the core community to beware of candy, beware of me. And then and then all these people on Quora got hateful and blocked me. They believe her lies and they got hateful and blocked me. <clears throat> because of that fake retarded Miss Samantha when she lied on me back in September when I exposed the truth about her um acting like a perp towards me and laughing at me and laughing at my potential homeless situation and then she went to smear campaign and lied and then even more targeted individuals turned against me and believe her lies and then so she thinks that just because she can hide behind the bible she thinks that that can make her credible i got tourette so my tourette's is kind of acting up right now so then <clears throat> that's why when they had hurricane nick or something like that in september it was after hurricane ida and um nobody wanted nobody wanted to help me and they just left me to stay stuck out there you know and it's like damn nobody want to nobody wanted to freaking help me you, you know so and i was showing y'all proof of all that flooding and everything and then here they the perps are saying don't help candy she's just a liar and a manipulator and um you know she's gonna do something dishonest with the money you donate her and stuff like that you know when i say that i need money for a hotel or a motel room that's what it goes to what else could or what i spend it on especially in bad weather like that they try to and that's what the fake foster mom used to falsely accuse me and my twin sister too she used to try to make like as if now the foster mom was rich as fuck but extremely stingy with her money but she spent lavish on herself but she hardly eat but she spent lavish on herself but then you know treat us like shit and then always use it against us always you throw it in, a, in our face like the foster mom used to try to talk about oh yeah they got this one foster parent who would give her biological kids the um the big max and the quarter pounders and then all, all, all they get the foster kids is the um the all-american meal well foster mom you ain't different because you damn sure treated your the, your birth kids way different from the way you treated us so um and then brainwash me and my twin sister to turn against each other and, and here we still at this war today And I'm not allowed to speak out again, the truth about against this. But here, my twin sister can lie, lie, lie. You know. So. They, they must. I don't even know if. If the perps. 
if the online purpose in my twin is to get more bonuses or more money by trying to manipulate me into um responding or feuding back with them <clears throat> but they want to try think they can try to run, run me off my own channel and trying to run me off youtube and stuff and you don't have the authority to dictate what i say in my videos so you know and, and it's like I'm, I'm, and, and y'all i mean why aren't people like pam smith and kimberly harper and stuff oh what's that one renice reeves and all y'all it's like if y'all claim to be christian Y'all want to call me a hypocrite with the Bible, but if y'all claim to be Christian, why aren't y'all trying to lead my twin sister to salvation? I have tried. But no, I mean, they want to use the Bible, trying to use the Bible to discredit me. They're trying to also accuse me of using Christianity and money as a gimmick and stuff, and then falsely compare me to a prosperity preacher and stuff. I'm not, I don't even have access to a car. So, I mean, y'all trying to falsely compare me to a, um, the manipulative, um, hucksters like Joel Osteen and Creflo Dollar and Joyce Meyer and Benny Hinn. And I'm not performing any witchcraft or magic on anybody. I don't even know it, really any tactics like that, you know? So... But my twin sister has people, you know, bewitched and charmed. I, I mean, I mean, she's and also Miss Samantha too, and also um, Monique and all them. When Monique did that one video, oh, I got time tonight, Candy Grand Prix, and she pretty much in that video did everything, did and said everything on purpose to get under that would vex me and get underneath my skin and and make me mad. You know, um, you know. Monique wearing a, a red shirt, purple with the red. I mean, I see other targeted individuals, they wear a red shirt too, but I mean, just wearing clothes for the day, just like I got on this light gray shirt. But the thing is, I know that she was deliberately, um, you know, deliberately using it for, for purple. And she did that to another target too. So, um, it's like I'm not allowed to speak out against anybody who's, um, you know, playing both sides. I'm not playing both sides, and I have not been corrupted. I have not taken any deals. I have not sold out. So, excuse me. So, um, I still don't don't know why do people cave in. And succumb to um you know the offers and i heard that once a target sell out i mean i heard that satan will trick you into believing well the, the people working for satan will trick you into believing that and i've had those lies told to me too that oh if you sign this deal or if you um join us then, then you, all your targeting is going to end or we'll in, in, we'll take you off the gang stalking list if you do this. No, you you know. So I'm not handing over my soul at all. But some people be like, "Oh, I'm not selling my soul." You say you ain't selling your soul because you already sold it. Ha <laughs> ha, bastards! You're not selling it because you already sold it. But then you're at, the Bible says you will know them by their fruits. <clears throat> so if you say you're targeted, but you're, you're producing fruit of a perp, but say you're targeted, like kill the realm and all them, you, you know, and kill the realm is not targeted at all, <clears throat> but she's a perp perp and she has a damn handler directing her on what to say and what to do and getting paid for it. So these fake TI perps, they seem like as if as if they um ag agree with and believe and align with everything you say and nod their head with everything you say. And then the moment 
you out what they did to you, then they then they try to um scramble around the smear campaign and destroy you and turn everybody against you and having everybody believe them <clears throat> and you're not allowed to you're not allowed a word to say anything at all. <clears throat> but my twin sister has yet to show any videos of um being followed or harassed by random strangers out in society. <clears throat> but y'all that, that's who y'all believe over me that my twin sister trying to follow me saying Candy's a chameleon in a TI community and demonic as fuck. My twin sister thinks it's humorous and hilarious to try to discredit me. She already called me mentally unhinged. Um, Monique even said that I need medication and that I have... A real TI wouldn't say that. And Miss Samantha, you know, try to call me crazy. You are crazy. That's not a Christ-like thing to do. But then she try to, you know, you will not get away with this. You will not get away with this. You, you know, that I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get away with speaking the truth. But then she kept on saying, you're lying, you're lying. But what you didn't say what I lied about. And then she tried to justify, she tried to falsely make like, oh yeah, Candy showed me her true colors. But Mr. Matthew, you don't have about an inch of footage of your gang stalking. But then all she would do is like, any fake evidence is seen like stage argument, stage altercations with other people, with other people, including police and everything. But here I'm dealing with this every day. Workplace mobbed off the job. I show y'all my footage every fucking day, every day. I even got footage today, Saturday, December 18, 2021. Right now it's 1:32 p.m. <clears throat> so then other so-called targets who are friends with the fake TI perps and regular perps start to act like community, online com cyber community mobbing me and just parrot and repeat what the fake TI perps and regular perps have said about me. And I can't even get any support or any, any e even if it's emotional support or any friendship from other targets. And the only so-called friendship <coughs> now I have to get is somebody who um is a narcissistic control freak fake friend who's supposed to be targeted too and I feel like if you trying to be bossy and um dictate my life and try to tell me what to do I, I I'm cutting you off so so it's like I don't understand if you're being targeted like me, you being dealing with harassment, harassment. Why the hell would you turn around and act like a perp towards me? <clears throat> and why the hell, why the hell would you try to act like a perp towards me and tell me that I deserve to die of, of this and that sickness or I deserve to die from my tooth abscess for not listening to whatever advice that you want to give when you, if you really want to help, why the hell you didn't pick up the phone and we can talk about this, but no, you wanted to manipulate and play all kinds of games and talk about, oh, you should, um, why don't you go and <clears throat> yeah, that lady Cynthia talking about why, why don't you go and, um, oh, you know, we women have needs and why don't you go find your man on Facebook or Tinder or I forgot what's the other website, um, or, um, Damn, if not plenty of fish, I don't remember what other website. Um, but you can't use Craigslist no more. You will be considered as a desperate whore if you're a woman who puts up an ad looking for a man. So they don't have that no more. And I won't do that no more because, you know, <clears throat> it's like, um, it's, it's like people would try to act like they want to push me up to go and um, put up an ad for a so-called Christian man to date on Craigslist a few years ago. And one time my nephew Raymond said, get off this bullshit, auntie. And then he ignorantly laughed and ran back. I mean, I didn't even know because I put up a, just a general ad and he responded saying, get off this bullshit, auntie. And then he ignorantly laughed and then went back and told the whole family. 
and then try to sell stuff like this is why Candy and Brandy, why they be getting raped all the time or why they just, oh, I be seeing, see why y'all get raped all the time or y'all deserve to get raped and stuff. I never got raped behind a Craigslist ad. So, I mean, I didn't realize it was part of the gang stalking that basically nobody wanted me. But then on the other side, I hear people talk about honey pots and honey traps. And stuff like that, but I feel like Satan must they must have be in desperate times right now to want me want me right now <clears throat> you know um so I mean, I have never gotten raped behind the, um meeting up with somebody from Craigslist. I did like I don't know how many times, but maybe it wasn't that many, maybe about it was under ten times, I'm pretty sure, and over the span of between 2006 and 2000, maybe 2017, it wasn't that many, you know, <clears throat> but the guys who I have been raped by was somebody that's, um, you know, a random encounter out in society, not somebody that I met from online. <clears throat> so they shut down. Um, and I was younger and I wasn't aware about this targeting and I wasn't aware, I wasn't aware about, um, that basically the Craigslist ads were that people used in the same way that, as MySpace <clears throat> that, um, so much child trafficking, I mean, so much, you know, human trafficking and, um, I didn't realize the dark side of it, you know, um. I didn't realize the dark side of it, <clears throat> but they had shut it down, you know, and, um, but they try to make it like, as if, you know, if I put up an ad to look for a decent Christian husband, I mean, somebody who would be a potential decent Christian, and even the so-called professed Christian men didn't even want me. Or maybe they were compromised about me or maybe told something. Because they had this guy, when I was in Greenville, South Carolina, he was a white guy named Brandon Ambrose. And he was from Tennessee. And, of course, he looked like he had it made, like nice house and everything. <clears throat> but he came to visit over at my house and um, well, at my apartment in Greenville, South Carolina, we didn't have sex or nothing like that. We just talked and tried to get to know each other. And then next thing you know, he went AWOL on me. So, um, last year, 2020, they had a in-person, not an online encounter, but it was a guy who had a, a restaurant and he was Hispanic. And I think he was from Guatemala. And his name was Jonathan. And Jonathan hooked me up with this guy from El Salvador. And Jonathan was supposedly a Christian. And um, <clears throat> and the gang stalkers, when I was staying at the hospitality in um, hotel, the extended stay hotel back in pretty much, I think it was May of 2020. And it was a Sunday. <clears throat> and... Jonathan's friend, I can't remember the guy's name at all. He was from El Salvador, didn't know no English. And um, <clears throat> Jonathan didn't know no English at all. I mean, I'm sorry, Jonathan's friend didn't know no English at all. And um, the guy kind of scared me a bit, you know, but he tried to, um, I thought the guy was supposed to be a Christian too, but he tried to, physically forced me to do sexual he didn't outright rape me but um come on man <clears throat> but he tried to you know physically um he tried to physically guide my hand to try to force me to do sexual acts on him but he didn't penetrate me or nothing and so um I don't even know if Jonathan was a perp. I mean, Jonathan told me that basically if I got a job, then he had a car he could sell me for like $2,000 and stuff. 
you know, he had a car that he could sell me for two thousand dollars. But I, of course, I never could get that kind of money. So the guy um, <clears throat> that was Jonathan's friend, he had a tiny, small, little, dirty white car. I mean, the car was dirty on the inside, very dirty on the inside. And um, I didn't feel comfortable riding in that car. But he gave me, he, you know, bought me a dinner and limited to only $10 or less. And then I think he was mad because I didn't have sex with him. But he took me all the way out far, like he like drove down an hour away and he wanted me he wanted to date me and he said he wanted to marry me and move me back to our, I mean move me to to El Salvador with him and stuff like that and um and that untainted indigo guy he said don't fall for it because that guy was trying to use you for I think he was trying to say that that guy was trying to use me for um well damn that he was trying to use you that he was an illegal immigrant trying to use me, um, trying to exploit me and use me for citizenship or something like that. Um, so I mean, because I talked about it on YouTube, so um, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that, you know, that these foreign people that they try to, um, these illegal foreign people try to scam you so that they can try to find a, a dishonest way to get citizenship here or something like that here in the states and that he was i mean so <clears throat> that guy he wanted to take me to panama city and he said that oh i, I can um uh, you can stay in a hotel for free while i work and this and that whatever and so that never happened because like on the way home to the motel, I mean that other hotel, um, they had gang stalker with one head like on our ass, like tailgating us super heavy, and followed all the way to the um, all the way to the motel room. I keep saying, well, that's an extended stay hotel, but not a motel, but it looks like a motel. <clears throat> and so then um. The guy made up an excuse and lied and said that, oh, I'm about to go to, um, I mean, and he rushed me saying, oh, I got to go home real quick. And so then, um, and, and so then after that, after he rushed me and lied and said he needed to go back home right quick. And then 20 minutes later, he texted me saying, I'm at Walmart. Well, how are you at Walmart down the street? But you just told me that, um, you just told me that. You that you you rush me, so you rush me to um, you know, and then I, I never heard from that guy ever again. <clears throat> so, but I don't even know if I I guess I would have wanted to believe that Jonathan had good intentions, and I told Jonathan about what happened, and all he could say was you know I'm sorry or whatever you know. So. He, he was a little shocked that the guy did that. But Jonathan, you know, he was trying to hook me up with a, an, another person, too. Um, saying that the guy needed, like, a female companion or whatever. So, I don't know. But, um, I think even that time I thought I remember that Jonathan tried to offer me to work for him, too. But I don't remember what happened with that, either. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, basically, I'm sitting here thinking that Miss Samantha basically won't allow me to get away with telling the truth about what she did, and other people have said they felt suspicious about her being a perp, too, but it's like, if you're supposed to be targeted, why would you believe? And other targets, too, have believed the smear campaigns and lies about me. 
but then they get mad and bent up out of shape and everything and having and having panic attacks and freaking out because people believe the lies and smear campaigns and false rumors about them too and y'all supposed to be targeted too you y'all have a problem with people you know believing this you're losing friends i mean y'all have a problem with losing friends behind losing other targeted friends or other targeted individuals turning against you somebody who if y'all two were targeted friends you targeted and this person is targeted and y'all been friends good friends for like 15 or 20 years and then next thing you know there's um somebody i, I mean your friend turn against you because of a false lie or, or a lie or a false rumor being told about you and then you gotta suffer and you lose that you end up being devastated because you lost that friend that's been a loyal friend for 10 or 15 years and there y'all can't even be friends no more because that person believes the lie about you and then leaves you in a state of total depression so i heard this guy named semi or something like that um let me try to search him i don't i'm gonna try to so this semi guy i heard was supposedly a targeted individual who murdered i don't know i didn't read the whole news story or i think there was a youtube video about him and what i heard was that he um supposedly a targeted individual who um who murdered a kid and he said because he thought the child he, he said he thought the, the I mean he supposedly thought the child was gang stalking him or something let me see Simi Williams is this it Simi Lee Williams yeah <clears throat> oh okay so Simi Williams Jr stabbed they say he was is accused of stabbing but some people say it might be a um some people say it might be a um a psyop or or that he was set up and falsely accused maybe i don't know <clears throat> but semi williams jr is accused of stabbing Ro ryan rogers after the team left for a bike ride in palm beach gardens florida so they said that um, Simi Williams has been indicted by a grand jury. And I never came across him on YouTube, but um, they say he is accused of randomly and fatally stabbing Ryan Rogers, who was 14 years old, on um, November 14th. I mean, wait a minute, November 15th. Then what if this is a fake psyop? But they say he also sometimes accuses passerbys in his clips of being racist cult members or undercover police. Yeah, so this um Simi Williams, they said he was a um targeted individual. <clears throat> and um they said, Oh, he made the whole TI community look bad because you know, he stabbed the kid, but other people be like, Well, what if they lied on him? What if he was set up? Um so they said on William's YouTube channel, this is on uh, dailymail.co.uk. On William's YouTube channel, which bears his name and image, he raves about being stalked, abused, and harassed by members of the public as well as police, while uh, oftentimes accusing passer passers by, I mean passerbys in his clips of being racist, cult members, or undercover police. Wow. So he might have been on V2K and stuff. Um, his name was Semi S E M M I E, and then he spelled out one seven like Semi O N E S E V E N. So Semi Semi Williams alleged YouTube channel, which bears his name and image, where he raised about being stalked, abused, and harassed by members of the public as well as police. <clears throat> A screenshot of one of Williams's disturbing YouTube videos where he alleges police and civilians have repeatedly kidnapped him while 
adding, they were mutilating his face with the direct energy weapons. <clears throat> and they put mutilating in quotes to try to mock and make and discredit and make fun of him. So I don't, I don't even know um, what's all. Hold on, right quick. So basically, that's what they try to program us targets to do, to commit atrocities. <clears throat> I mean, they basically fuck with us and fuck with us and fuck with us and fuck with us until they try can try to get you to commit some atrocity like this or they even lie on you or create a psyop and fake. And you probably... <laughs> you, you be, they probably have you... They probably lie on you and have you falsely framed and... What if this guy was still, what if this guy is, this? I mean, this 14-year-old boy is still alive and was never stabbed? Or what if this never even, real, what if this was just all, you know, fake, you know, fake psyop? Hmm. Let's see, wait, hold up, what? Yeah. So, um. How is it regular perps are calling me a fake T.I.? And y'all don't even, y'all admit, y'all online gang stalkers admit that y'all don't even know what gang stalking is. Dumbasses. So, um, yeah, they try to say the bizarre YouTube channel of the homeless drifter who randomly stabbed a 14-year-old boy to death in Palm Beach Gardens last month had, had last month has come to light. This is the um I don't know if y'all can see it. This is it right here. On dailymail.co.uk. YouTube channel attributed to Simi Williams, the homeless man accused of stabbing 14-year-old Ryan Rogers to death in Florida, this depicts the suspect as severely delusional and paranoid. Damn. Because, see, me, I be trying to be, I try to stay as peaceful as possible. And, and it's like they want to try to vex vex you and then they, it's like part of i heard that basically if you if if this man did kill this boy then i heard basically the program the basically um if they can get you to kill yourself or somebody else then basically their gang stalking experimentation has worked it successfully worked on you they want to try to break you down psychologically, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, sexually. Break you down in every, using every avenue that they could. And so I feel like that's why I'm so vocal and outspoken about, you know, all this targeting. I know it's spiritual, so I think, you know, me praying and reading the Bible helps me to um keep my sanity. But they want to try to make you doubt God. The gang stalkers want to try to make you doubt, doubt God and try to force you to stop being a Christian or stop believing in the Bible and everything. Because they want you to join their cult. So, um... They said and authorities involved in the case refused to answer any questions re regarding the authenticity of the YouTube videos. Y'all know damn well this shit is real. The videos have been both narrated and captioned but are completely unrelated to the footage of it itself. What? With many being titled gang stalking. Well, if if those, those, some targeted individuals do that, they entitle all their videos gang stalking. And um, nothing else. And then they'll show you, you know, things of gang stalking activities that's going on. So, you, you know, I don't know if this is like an MK Ultra PSYOP, you know, or, or what. 
Um, so they try to say the videos have been both narrated and captioned, but are completely unrated, unrelated to the footage itself, with many being titled gang stalking, and they put gang stalking in quotes. Others been alleged alleging top child endangerment, racism, and possible criminal activity. One video, and, and this, I heard that his whole channel got taken down too. They took his whole channel down. But I do remember seeing this, this situation recommended to me in, in YouTube videos. I, I mean, uh, YouTube video suggestions about this killing or whatever ha that supposedly happened. But I didn't know this guy was a targeted individual. They tried to make it like he was just an unhinged homeless person that um killed an innocent 14-year-old boy. I told y'all they used the 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 parents used their children to perp too. But don't don't mean you you know you gotta go and kill them. Dang. But as I said, you know. They want to take take me away from my spirituality and my Christian beliefs. And it's like, I think without having God as a foundation, I think that not having the Bible and Christianity as your backbone, or also without having anybody to support or believe you expressing about your targeting, also having little to no support, also can drive a person to to be to you know go off and snap you know and then like Myron May or something like that so or if you don't end up committing an atrocity like Myron May other target individuals end up like Kanika Jenkins or Sandra Bland um Trayvon Martin who else yeah, all those people, blood sacrifices. <clears throat> so, this is a, go a government conspiracy and experiment to try to see who they can drive crazy and how, how many of us. I, I mean, and then maybe this semi person, I never come across his YouTube videos, but now I can't see his, his, his anything of his targeting, I don't think. Um,. One video which was posted on the night of the murder shows a dark street after sundown, likely just before the deadly 7.30 p.m. encounter, and it's, and it's entitled First Blood, 1982. Damn. The narrator in that video speaks about mysterious women following him and police and security guards being violent with him. And they put being violent in quotes as a way to discredit him. You know, prostitutes that set guys up to get killed, he says. Like, I don't know these women. So, and me, I don't have access to any guns or anything, but I heard he stabbed this boy. And I'm not about to go stab nobody. You know, not me. I'm just trying to live my life and trying to better myself. <clears throat> trying to better myself and, um... And they're trying to stop it, you know, and they have succeeded at making sure they bully me off the job. Mr. John and all them, you know, hold up. Hmm, things. Yeah, hopefully I'm going to try to see if I can watch um that video that the one of my subscribers has suggested. I mean, suggested. And, um... I'm going to try to see the video that one of my subscribers has suggested and hopefully that will work. And then I can be relaxed and content to be in this room. So yeah, um, they say on November 16th, the day after Williams is accused of fatally stabbing Ryan to death, a video posted to Williams' YouTube channel declares my next movie is going to be Blade 3 and 16 and show landmarks in Palm Beach Gardens, roughly 80 miles from where he was later arrested in Miami. Wow. So, I mean, I'm going to put the link in. It's kind of somewhat, not that long, but somewhat um, <coughs> longer video about him.
So they called him a homeless drifter. And then they said grand jury indicts homeless drifter in killing of Ryan Rogers. Wow, I did not know. And, and then certain websites saying homeless man stabs bike riding innocent child to death without motive. Wow, and then here's Yahoo Finances saying that Simi Lee Williams Jr. has lengthy c criminal history. Wow, this guy, this Simi Williams guy, he, he, he might be, um, I mean, he seems so similar to that Darrell E. Brooks guy that, um, drove the car into all those people at the parade. But I don't know whether or not the 14-year-old boy was perfect, you know. But I feel like, as I said, you know, all those times I have attempted suicide in the past because not knowing or realizing about this gang stalking, you know. And then still I don't have that much of really any support. But... I'm trying to fight to stay level-headed, and um, I'm, I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to stay level-headed, and I don't want to um, you know, commit any atro atrocious acts or anything like that, you know. <clears throat> but you see, they want to try to call you crazy. The narcissistic abusers try to call you crazy and drive you to insanity on purpose, they're already calling you crazy and they have their self-fulfilling prophecies or act like they can accurate, because they're the ones who created it or they're the ones who set it all up, that they can basically think that they're a champ because they can predict something about you. But of course, because you set it all up. So, you know, I, I they say most targeted individuals most targeted, I mean, it's basically frustrating when you don't have any, really any other TIs on your side either. You know, and I heard that Myron May had really no support or nobody really to believe him. <clears throat> and some people say that they wish that Myron May could have just endured to the end and stuck it out. You know, I recently was bullied off the job and forced to quit my job and everything. And that they had people to tell me that, you know, I wish you would have stuck it out. But I was too fucking pissed and angry for being blamed and being told that the gang stalking bully co workers were well within their right to be mad at me for walking off and leaving Fr that Friday. Was it not yes? I mean, wait, today's Saturday? Not yesterday, but the, the previous Friday. And then they try to say, oh, well, there's going to be, <clears throat> there's going to be, you know, those types of people everywhere you go. But just because they have those type of people, those types of people doesn't mean it's right. Oh, that's everywhere you go. It needs to be put to a freaking stop. And then when a narcissistic abuser gets violent with me, they will say that I drove them, I don't, not intentionally, but, you know, they would say that I stressed them out and drove them to that point. To that point, like <clears throat> narcissistic foster and biological family members, you know, get violent with me and say I stressed them out. And then if if they put their hands on me or go postal on me, then they'll make it like as if I that I was the one who stressed them out and drove them to that point to go psycho and lose their mind and, and get physical on me. And of course. The police always side with them, and, and the police will defend and agree with them and make it like, I did get what I deserve. So, yesterday, when I was at fake Walmart, and I was using the gift cards, fake-ass Miss Pam from the job, but does this deceitful look and smile on her face act like nothing happened? She, well, pretty much, she was, she herself was the one who put the nail the final nail in the coffin of um you know 
<laughs> she, she put the final nail in the coffin. And, um, you know, to, to make me decide to make that final decision to be like, okay, I give up, I quit, I'm not doing this no more. Because she tried to talk about consequences for your actions. So, I mean, just, everything was just so corrupt, twisted, and backwards with that small little group. So, Miss Pam, you know, defending Miss Brenda and everything. And Miss Pam, earlier that day, when I texted her and told her, oh, I'm at the middle school, and her response was, she did a 666 Illuminati hand sign emoji. 666 AOK -okay hand sign emoji was what she used. So I've seen her throw up them signs too, but act like she wants to help me out, you, you know. But then she was like, with a deceitful looking smile on her face, rolled up on me. My Uber driver came like five seconds later and I said, well, I had already called the Uber driver. And she's like, oh, I'm just trying to help you save a little more money, you know. And I'm thinking in my head, bitch, you know, if you really would have wanted to help me save a little money, you could have helped save my damn job by being supportive and listening to what the fuck I had to say. And she tried to ask me, oh, is everything all right? Are you doing better? You know, big deceitful like a smile on her face. Like, Basically, if she would have been a supportive ear to me, I could have still, you know, stretched it out to work. This, I mean, I've supposedly had like only a few days left, but then I heard that the temp service was um, supposed to do a, I mean, well, the ABM company was supposed to do away with the temp service. They supposedly didn't need any more temps because they had hired a whole bunch of new people and they were supposedly hurting for people hurting for work but if you got a the reason why you're hurting for work and hurting for people is because you got a y'all got some corrupt people in charge so um you know miss pam made it like she wanted to offer to you know take me downtown if i needed to go so i won't have to worry about an uber ride and stuff but here like, when her telling me about the consequences for your actions, and then, you know, the gay guy, um, Trey at the, um, temp service trying to say, oh, Pam is just trying to get you to see both sides. Well, how, do, how about y'all see my side? You gang stalkers don't deserve a damn voice. We target individuals. We deserve a fucking voice. I already showed y'all Miss Brenda and the Creole lady and Mr. John gang stalking me earlier that day. I think it was that Tuesday. That Tuesday, and Mr. John wanted to be fucking obvious. And I so badly wanted to put Mr. John's face on camera at work and call him out as a gang stalker in front of his face. He did every bit of gang stalking activity. And so how the hell at work, I mean, basically, the temp service people say that, oh, we're here for you, we're on your side. And when you have a problem, don't hold it in. Document everything and tell us what's going on. And then when I tell y'all what's going on, oh, he, Mr. John is trying to help you or he didn't mean no harm or you misunderstood, you misinterpreted what he was trying to say or, you know. So, um, and I, I damn sure don't need a gay-ass fag that's, faggot that's younger than me trying to tell me off about myself. Like, I'm 30, I'm almost old enough to be your mother. You look like you about like 25 or could be a little younger than that, you know? So he, I don't know how old he is, but he made it like as if, uh, 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 like as if he don't have any toleration for bullying because of, well, you're the one who made that decision to be gay, but you don't make a decision to be a targeted individual. You don't get to choose to be targeted, but a person can choose whether or not they want to be gay. So, um, But Mr. John, 
I believe that they're defending and agreeing with him because he's a warlock. Mr. John practices uh, witchcraft. You know, but then you want to try to gaslight, trying to take the focus off by trying to, you know, and Mr. John, when he and trying to entangle me in that conversation and telling me about the um Building 9 being haunted and stuff, and then perping me with the homeless talk, you know, he must have knew, he must have, you, you know, I think he was trying to curse me with, be, trying to indirectly curse me with being back homeless again. <clears throat> but I'm hoping and praying that for God to protect me against the wickedness of them want, so badly wanting me back on the streets again with nothing at all. You, you know, I, I have been just super frustrated. And let me tell y'all something else. I may get frustrated and lose my temper sometimes, but I had better self-control than when I was on those psychiatric medications. Much better self-control. You know, I have much better self-control not being on those psychiatric medications. Those psychiatric medications drive you to, to violence. Yeah, Miss Pam. You could have saved, forget saving a few dollars. You could have helped save my whole damn job if you would have just listened to me. Instead of, you know, talking about consequences for your actions. Consequences for your actions, but you're the one who's brainwashing. Don't even, I mean, you're stubborn to quote unquote conspiracy theories and don't believe the truth. You know, you believe every lie there is that the mainstream government tells you. I mean, I can't even tell everybody the full scope of, um, you know, telling people about the gang stalking. Every now and then, <laughs> I can probably tell a cab driver or an Uber driver. Like somebody who you meet only one time, sometimes you can get away with telling them about the gang stalking. But somebody you see every day... You can't really get away with um telling them about the gang stalking. Damn. So I'm sorry, y'all. Still battling the nets. But that's all I did yesterday was um all day yesterday and today just killing nets all day. And I got frustrated and freaked out. Like I was so freaked out this morning I didn't even want to eat breakfast. I didn't see this is 70% alcohol, but the 91% alcohol would have had all the paint on the walls discolored, discolored and everything. Um, so, um, it's like. I got a confession to make. <clears throat> well, I had been kind of fine. Still having OCD, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder. Brought on by narcissistic abuse growing up. And complex PTSD. And then they had this thing called PANDAS. That this, if you have strep throat or scarlet fever... By the time you're seven years old, in which I had both, I think it's strep throat. When you have strep throat by the time you're seven, then you grow up to have um, OCD and Tourette's and anxiety disorders and stuff. So, um, yeah, they can see that they're doing noise harassment to um, try to distract me. So I apologize for any noise y'all might hear. So, so what, 
So with my own, I mean, I know this is not good for me to be inhaling or breathing in so much, um, for me to inhale or breathe in so much, um, rubbing alcohol. I don't do it on purpose. I'd be trying to hold my breath, but after I got raped, um, I would clean everything I touched with 91% alcohol. And then, you know, I was able to have self-control for a long time. And then after these bathroom cleaning jobs, it's like my OCD got back worse again with, um, now I've been using 70% and not 91% to clean everything I touch and, um, having to spray so much alcohol and trying to sanitize and clean the bathrooms. And sometimes might accidentally get a little bit on my mouth or in my mouth a little bit. And, um, I feel like, wow, this is not good. So, um, nearly suffocating at work because of spraying the whole damn bathroom down with alcohol in addition to, um, you know, in addition to cleaning the the bathroom, you, you know, so, I mean, I remember I told y'all about the toilet water splashing on me or, um, the toilet water splashing on me or the mop water, dirty mop water splashing on me and stuff like that. And me feeling like I got to clean and sanitize or I can't wait. I, you, you know, and so now I've been spraying a lot of alcohol to spray, try to kill the, the gnats you know, but, but then I, again, my OCD is also kind of bad when I'm out on the streets too. When I'm homeless on the streets, my OCD is pretty bad. Um, cause you know, everything's about dirty. So that's the doggone confession that I had, you know, And I'm sitting here wondering how much of a danger to my health is that, you know, and I'm feeling like helpless. But, and that's why I said that any future jobs, I wanted to have a job that's not janitorial, dishwashing or housekeeping or anything cleaning related because it's going to make my OCD symptoms worse. So I was, you know, looking for a work at, I mean, a, a, a permanent place to live in a work at home or work from home job opportunity. I don't know if it's too late for me to ask for help with getting a car, but you know, they started that back up with, um, trying to sleep like last night, they sleep deprived me. I mean, they left me alone for a little while about with the energy weapons, and then um, they left me alone with the energy weapons, and then started back up again. But here, the online perps are trying to say, "Stop talking about the energy weapon talk. It's getting old." What's well, getting old? Well, leave me alone and stop harassing me. You know, you ain't gonna make me stop talking about shit. You sick bastard. You sick evil bastard. Y'all the ones who are the demonic chameleons because y'all want to sit there and try to front like y'all are righteous and goodly. You know, and I'm t I am sick and t fucking tired of going back and forth with all you online perps. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of them that manually reported my medium.com account when I spoke the truth about something on there and they just straight up like medium.com, they straight up removed my whole account. 
that I'm banned from medium.com and I said nothing wrong. It's just backwards. You know, all the brainwashed people are trying to persecute and think they can punish the people who know the truth and trying to spread the truth. So, I mean, I kind of ran out of stuff to talk about at the moment, but I'm going to put, I'm going to try to remember to put the link in the description box about that semi guy and um <clears throat> about that semi guy and um I'm gonna try to put a link try to remember to put a link in the description box and if there's more information I'll try to put some more information about him too. Um so I'm going to get me another, I mean, I'm going to get me a um, warm up, a plate of food from yesterday. Um, I, you know, since I couldn't use the card, I bought two dinners, one for, me, for yesterday and one for today. And yesterday I had some lasagna and then today I have like some ribs and macaroni and cheese and um, little potatoes, scalp potatoes for lunch. And um, for dinner, I don't know what I'll have for dinner, but um, I don't know if, if for dinner, if I might have some, just some rice, beans, mixed vegetables, and, um, and some meatballs, some organic barbecue meatballs, but you know, I'm frustrated and I'm sick and tired of these online gang stalkers trying to control, that's narcissistic to, to try to dictate and control what a stranger should post online. You know, so I had some more medium.com articles that I wanted to, I had some more medium.com articles that I wanted to, um, that I wanted to create and post, but therefore I can't because the, now I don't even really have much of a writing platform. I don't even have much of a platform I can use to write anymore. And as I said, I cannot use, I cannot create another WordPress or WordPress or Blogspot blog because the online gang stalkers, like from what I saw earlier this morning, I do not want to see anything that they tell me. I mean, for, to, for me to end up getting all worked up and upset again. So let me see. Wait a minute. But that's just so damn um, childish. Okay, so... um. It was 12.44 a.m. this person had um, had posted. And you want me to stop saying I'm being human traffic? I'm trying to say stop saying you're hum being human traffic. That's unacceptable. You're ignorant. and uh, It's either you're playing the game and know, and know what we're talking about and you're in denial and you're trying to gaslight or you're you're very you're very ignorant or, or you, you know exactly what's going on but trying to say stop saying that you are when did i recent i mean i know i have said that but within, within the past week or so i maybe i did but I, you know when did i say um you know oh stop saying you're being human traffic that is unacceptable I can say whatever I fucking want. You don't. You're not my mouth police. You know. You you're not the mouth police. So I'm gonna go for now and try to warm up my food and eat. And I don't believe in. I I don't want to be eating on camera. So um, I'll see y'all in a while. Whenever this can upload, I'll see y'all.